Okay guys, welcome back. So what we have here, don't panic, we have this little dinosaur and this little dinosaur is the, or little dinosaur come dragon, is what we're going to be creating in the full workshop that is at the end of this initial training. So don't worry if you um, kind of like, oh what's happened here, have I missed a bit? It's alright, it's coming up. So this is what we're going to create later, so we're going to work through that whole workflow um, and show you. So in the last lesson we looked at Dynameshing, so this is a Dynameshed file, if I just turn on Polyframe there, you can see that we have tons of little polygons, if I zoom right in you can see these little polygons that make up this model to be able to sculpt on. Now Dynamesh is really good for just being able to free um, sculpt on a model and initially set how it looks. But we're going to need to create this in a low polygon version of this. So we need to create these subdivision levels, which we did earlier on in the course. Now don't worry, we can do that inside ZBrush. So what we're going to do is for this Dynameshed version, we're going to go to the subtools, you can see it's Dynameshed version. Again, don't worry about the tool, the eyes. We're going to create those in the workshop at the end as well. But we have this one here, you see and this is our Dynamesh version so what I want to do is I want to create a clone of this and then create a low poly version of it and then it's going to allow us to do things like UV mapping where we basically flatten the skin out and we're able to paint on it and then save that texture out to be used in other applications so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to this one here and I'm going to just click duplicate and I'm just going to rename it in here so you can see what we're doing so I'm going to call this topology because that's what we're going to be creating clean topology let's go clean here and hit the enter button there so now I've got that what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn off the other so I'm on the topology layer here I'm going to turn all of these layers off so I've just got this so you can see that this is our dynameshed high resolution and if I mouse over here you can see how many polygons we've got we've actually got 1.65 million polygons on this model here. So what we're going to do is we're actually going to what's called Z remesh it to create good topology on this low resolution topology that we can add subdivision levels into and then later on in the next workshop we're going to project the detail from the high resolution one the dynameshed one here uh, onto this model. So I'm going to turn off this for now and we're going to create the low resolution version. So I'm going to go into, I'll actually leave this on so you can sort of see it happening on the model. So I'm going to go down to where we've got geometry down here and under the geometry tab you're going to have this, I'm just going to turn Dynamesh off for this as well by the way if it's on and I'm going to go to Z Remesher. Now Z Remesher is what we can use to create um, a much lower resolution mesh that will follow the contours or the shape of the model. This is really important. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to set my poly count on about three in here and you might have to change this, it's alright, you can undo and redo it. So I'm going to set it on three and I'm going to leave the rest of the settings the same. Uh, we will get back onto these at some point uh, when we're doing through our workshop. I don't need to go into detail about all these things at the moment. Just keep it on default and I put that on three on there. Now all I'm going to do is I'm going to hit Z remesh. Let's click that. You're going to see that it will work on this model. You're going to see a little progress bar going on and then we're going to look at our end result once it's finished. So it's going to run through this and it's basically going to cut all this down into nice clean flowing topology over the model. So the polygons will flow around the contours of the model. So let's have a look at what it's going to create. It's going to come up in any second now and we should see here we go so look at this look at the flow of these polygons they're flowing around the model they follow it all round giving us really clean flowing topology over this model so if I turn off the polyframe here you're going to see that it looks quite low res and that's because it is but it makes it easy for us to actually UV map this for textures later. So let's have a look at the poly count of this now. So you can see this poly count for this one is now 14,000 from 1.6 million. So we've created a much lower resolution model. Remember we've still got this high resolution model here, the Dynamesh version, but we've now got this low resolution model. So with this low resolution model, we can actually put subdivisions back into it 
and then project the detail. I'm going to project the detail in the next workshop. So I'm going to add some subdivision levels into this and we're going to go to geometry and you're going to well, as soon as I click the divide here, you're going to see it's going to go a lot smoother. So here we go. So there we go. We're now putting this in here. It's still the same lower resolution one. We're just subdividing up the polygons. You're going to see as we go up here, it's dividing them by four every time you go up in here. So it's dividing by four times of four until we get to this. So I'm actually going to pump one more level into here. So I'm going to go up to about four. You might not have to go up as high as that. But I'm going to put four into there. Now we've got a really clean model, but it isn't got all the sharpness and the detail that we've got on this Dynamesh version. So we need to project the detail from this high resolution Dynamesh version onto this low resolution model. And we're going to do that in the next lesson. So there in that workshop there, we looked at how we can actually retopologize a model. We come out of Dynamesh and we can use the Z Remesher to create a really low resolution, clean model that we can use later for mapping and texturing and painting, etc.